showing y'all how to get ways. Gotta grind hard, gotta play late. I've been doing it since the eighth grade. So grab your brushes and I show you the details about what I I just got some in the mail to the haters. I don't take nothing to heart. My ways look like a hurricane in the ocean, no shark. Shout out to the waivers that did just before me, but I'm three six. y'all man what's up it's your boy 360 Jeezy I'm gonna tell y'all how to be the best elite waiver you could possibly be stay tuned <laughs> being an elite waiver the biggest thing you need is not a brush although you need a brush but the biggest thing you need is time yes yes time it is yeah yeah it's not time to go to sleep now so I'll continue the reason why I say time is because if you ain't brushing and putting the time in brushing you're not gonna be elite. I brush nearly all day. All day? All day. You can see your kids all day. All day. Don't know where that's from? It's from the color purple, all right? Get Catch up on your movies, man. It's on the color purple. Come on, watch, watch your movies. Come on. All you guys need to be watching that movie, Color Purple. Come on, it's classic. It's just a classic, period. Now that you got your time in, you want to put your grind in. You want to put that brush work. You want to use that brush and go to work. Once you figure out you got time, now it's about putting in the manpower, the work, the CQP, the Diane 8119, all that. Once you got your time and your grind going, you guys want to, you, you need a mirror. You need a mirror. You about bet, you, you about bet that you need a mirror. It's almost guaranteed, 100% that you need a mirror. Once you got your mirror, you wanna pay attention to how your hair grows and how your, if you have a swirl, you, want, you definitely wanna pay attention. If you have a beehive, it's just natural 360s. It's just this side, top, going this way and going down, it's basic. But when you have a swirl, it gets kind of complicated, so you really have to go in the mirror and pay attention to how you brush. I'm gonna give you guys a little crown tip. Stay, stay tuned. Just it's, it'll be the on the next blur. Pretty sure. All right, take a look at my crown. Yes, it's dope. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, my my crown. I, I worked hard. But <clears throat> the thing that you got to realize when getting your crown to elite status, you got to realize that your crown is a circle. It is a complete circle. That's it. That's all it is. And as you go around and go outside, it gets wider and wider and wider. That's all I do. Example. In close. I'm brushing around my crown in close in a complete circle. But when I get wider, when I go outside, I get wider. Yes. If you just learned something new today, I just want you guys to comment and, and like the video and do all that. But stay tuned for more tips. In becoming a, a powerful elite waiver, you gotta know when to switch it up. You gotta know when to use a product on this hand and then use a product on this hand. What I mean by that is 
when you have a shortcut, you don't want to use pomade. You got to know when to use pomade. You got to use something light, something non-heavy when your hair is low. You don't want to use pomade. Now, when you're woofing, that's when you want to use pomade because you got a lot of hair on your head and it just, it needs to be laid down. So the pomade is good for laying down your head, but it still is nothing without a deep Let's get that out of here. Right now. Nothing can lay your hair down better than a deep This is a perfect time to shout out Surag. Salute. You know what I'm saying? Go get you a Surag. And shout out to Deshaun, aka Exclusive 81. He put me on Surag, so every time you hear me say Surag, I just gotta say his name. It's just simply black. It's just how I was raised, man. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, to be an elite waiver, you gotta go hard with brushing. It's not about products. It's not about nothing else. It's about brushing. It's about consistent brushing. And don't, don't slow brush. This, I don't, I don't, when people say slow brush, I've never slow brushed in my life. I'm an elite waiver. I've never slow brushed in my life. I never just went this slow brushing. Like, that does nothing for me. Like, this is how fast I brush on a normal basis. I, I apply so much pressure. But this is a softy, though. So, when you got your medium, don't really apply pressure that hard because you will hurt your scalp no doubt i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie to you guys to become an elite waiver is hard work it's not easy it's not easy it's not like getting waves it's not like getting waves getting waves is easy all you gotta do is brush it doesn't even really matter how you brush just brush your hair you're gonna get waves put the durag on you're gonna get waves but to be an elite waiver no that's hard let me tell you guys how hard it is my routine first of all I wake up about 7 o'clock. I brush for 30 minutes. I go to work. I brush. I'm at work. I brush. I'm on lunch. I brush. When I leave my job and I get off, I brush. When I get home, I go straight to that mirror and I brush. And when I feel like I'm tired and I want to go to sleep, I get up and I brush. Seriously. Seriously, I get up and I brush. Do I brush a lot? Because it feels good and I want to have flawless waves. I want to have, I want to have dope waves. So. But most of all, it just feels good to brush. For all my waivers out there, y'all know what I'm talking about. To, to basically be 360 Jeezy and have 360 Jeezy's waves, I, I, I hear this a lot. Oh, I want to have three, I, I want to have waves like 360 Jeezy. Check this out. You can't have the same texture as me, but you can have the elite waves. A lot of people will be like hating on this method, but I'm not really going to trip about that because obviously I'm killing the game and I've been using this method the whole time. Basically, it's called the flawless connection method. What you want to do in this method, at first, when I first started getting my 360 waves, I was brushing forward. But now, I brush to the side. Once you got your waves going this way, once the waves are going this way, it's hard to shift in any other way once your pattern is set. It's hard to shift it. It's not gonna shift. It's gonna shift a little bit, but it's not gonna shift totally. You're not, you can't have 360 waves and then shift to 540 waves just by brushing in a slight slant. I don't care what nobody say, you cannot do that. So right now, I'm brushing at a slant. It's kind of like 540s because my crown is in 540 or 720s. Either way, it don't matter. I'm brushing like this to the side and to, to, to show y'all what I'm talking about, I'm going to brush my hair this way. If I brush my hair this way, obviously change happens. See that? That's basically the Falls Connection method. You're shifting and you're changing the way you brush. For the betterment of your connections. Just for the betterment of your connections, that's all. Real quick, let me brush this back though. Let me, let me brush this back. 
also woofing is key to having good connections also woofing and not cutting your hair too low once you woof for eight weeks or however many weeks you woof make sure you don't cut it down to like a, a zero or even a 1.5 a 1.5 is cool but it just isn't the same as you keeping it thick and going on another wolf session and then cutting it uh, to a number two and then going on another wolf session. I mean, this is the, the number two is for my hair. Uh, it, it, it keeps it thick. It's about a little lower than this. It's a little lower than this, but it's the right length to get back on track to keep wolfing again and bettering your connection. This is what I think you shouldn't do. You should not get a cut every, you should not get a cut off the top, like cutting your hair long. You shouldn't get cut back to back to back to back to back to back to back every week you got you cutting your top off. You shouldn't do that because that's not gonna that's not gonna help your waves. That's not gonna help your connections. You gotta wait at least until four weeks or so to get a cut down off the top. Like don't just keep cutting it because it's just not training your hair proper. I'm gonna tell you guys like this though. It's ups and downs. And becoming a 360 elite waiver. It really is ups and downs. Why is it ups and downs, you ask? Because there's people that don't like to see you on top. There's people that don't like to see you succeed. There's people that don't like to see your waves look better than theirs. So it's always going to be that person to be like, man, man, F Jeezy. You know what I mean? It's always going to be that person to not like you. You just got to deal with it and just keep brushing. Keep going hard every day. While they talking and yapping at the mouth, your waves could possibly look like this. All the while they're talking. All the while they're talking. But that's my guide to becoming a 360 Elite Waver. Um, if you like this video, if you found it to be informative, but foist before I go. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. But I want to give a shout out. I really want to give a shout out. I want to give a shout out to, to, two, to two people right now. First, I want to give a shout out to Angel. You know what I'm saying? Uh... Will, sister, you know, I was Skyping her. They was like, man, my sister want to talk to you. She just really just want to, she want to talk to you, man. She's you know, your biggest fan. So I was like, you know what, let me, let me, let me go ahead. And I Skyped, FaceTime basically, you know. And then, you know, she tried to play the role of, you know what I'm saying? I'm, you know what I'm saying? I ain't really tripping, you know what I'm saying? 360 GZ on the phone, but I ain't tripping. But I guarantee after she got off, she was like, wow. But yeah, shout out to Angel though. Second person I want to shout out is my cousin. What? My cousin. Yeah, she is my cousin. Huh? My cousin. What? Jeezy got a cousin? And she on YouTube? Yes. Yes. Oh, you're saying that Jeezy has a cousin. Her name is K Mila. And she's on YouTube doing what? I mean, basically, hair runs in the family, so you know she doing hair or something. Come on. I mean, put two and two together. Shout out to my cousin, Kamila, a.k.a. K. Amor. You know what I'm saying? K. Love. K. Amor. That's my cousin. Hold on. Let me, let me show y'all. Let me show y'all real quick her channel. Yes. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. K. Amor. Subscribe to my cousin. You know what I'm saying? She's doing it big. It's her first start. She's doing it big. She's trying to get out there. Go subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Help my cousin out. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy 360 Jeezy. Hold on. Let me flip it around and, and do this outro. You know what I'm saying? Correctly. Like. YouTube, it's your boy 360 Jeezy. Hold on real quick. I'm going to show y'all. I don't want to show y'all my ways. But yeah. It's your boy 360 Jeezy. Um, um, um. I'm at work, you know, I'm bored. I had to put this video out. I, you know, my family's not here, I'm all alone. But still, it's your boy 360 Jeezy. 
and I'm out of here.